guys, Magpie here, and today you're bird watching with Magpie. So uh, today we're going to be talking about Worlds Adrift. Now you may or may not have heard of this. It's made by I think Bossa Studios, the same guys who made I Am Bread. It's kind of an interesting departure because you're going from, well, bread to airships. Now this game, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. It's a really beautiful game, very stylized sort of uh, design, but it's a little difficult to describe uh, so right now it's an alpha and it largely revolves around exploration and it's like legit exploration the reason why I say that is because it's not like you're just on this this one map that anybody can go onto YouTube Google whatever and just be like oh okay here's all the stuff in the map because somebody else explored it recorded it etc so you're gonna be flying around through this this the skyscape I guess and various little islands will be generated and these islands can be randomly generated they can be um, generated by the devs or player generated there's even a thing right now where you can download the map maker and start making maps for this game so it's interesting because it promises that there will pretty much always be stuff to explore there may always I mean, you just set sail in a random direction and there's probably gonna be something you haven't seen before and that's kind of cool that's pretty interesting to me but the other thing is, of course, uh, the very physics-based uh, nature of this game, and that you can actually, like, you have this little hook thing on your arm, and you actually shoot it up into stuff, and it hooks onto it, and then you just swing around on it. I mean, if you've seen I Am Bread, they got their physics down, right? So this game relies on a similar sort of physics system that is very... Um, hard to find a good word to describe it but let's just say it works the physics system works so on top of that of course you've probably been wondering airships right so the thing about this game is that you pretty much build it more or less from the ground up so it looks like I unfortunately haven't been able to play the game yet but you can basically drop down a generator and it brings up this little frame of your ship and you can kind of pick and pull at the various points in the frame to structure the frame however you want to and then it generates this frame and then you just start slapping shit out of the frame like you get uh, wood panels and then you just put the wood panel wherever you want it to and kind of magically hammer it down there and uh, the same thing with uh, other components and devices and guns on the ship uh, engines and sails all kinds of stuff you just you basically you almost freehand build your own airship and likewise all those components that you put on there can be blown off because they're, they're, it's a series of components. So it's pretty interesting because you can straight up build your own airship and go scooting about. Now, the game isn't, uh, or doesn't appear to be, I don't know if they plan this, but it doesn't. it's not survival in so much as I need food, I need water, etc. But your ship does need fuel. Your ship may need repairs. And uh, so you may have to, you know, you're flying from point A to point B, and then these hostile critters attack you, or there's these walls that separate off certain grids of the areas, either with uh, wind walls, storm walls, and I think there's other types of walls, but basically it's a uh, barrier that prevents your ship from passing through if it's not heavy enough, or if it's not powerful enough. And that way there is sort of a gate on progression in certain ways but so you may travel through a way and then your ship gets damaged and you have to you, you actually have to limp to an island to get stuff to repair it and it's kind of interesting because this is a little voyage that's going on and it can legitimately get to the point it is multiplayer by the way so you can actually get a little ship and crew and you all can just go exploring together it, it's it looks pretty sweet especially with all the physics systems thrown in and uh yeah, it's, it's pretty, like, right now the combat is uh, something that they're working on. Like, they have guns in the ships. They don't work tremendously well. Uh, I haven't seen much rubber banding or anything from people that were playing the game, so it looks like that should be pretty good. But it's like the guns that the players themselves hold, like the personnel guns, don't seem to work that great just yet. They do plan on adding swords and other stuff like a giant wrench or whatever. So uh, we'll see where the combat goes, but it, it, right now it's more focused on the exploration sort of aspect, and it honestly seems pretty sweet. I mean, there's some beautiful worlds there. So another thing, too, is that whenever a ship will wreck in the, on an island, that stuff will remain persistent on the island for a period of time. So you can be, you know, Joe Schmo, whoever here, 
passes through the wind wall and finds basically the site of a huge battle, and you got all these ship parts lying all over, you can straight up just take those ship parts. You can just salvage from other ships and wrecks, or, you know, you can creatively make wrecks to salvage from, if you get what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, honestly, uh, the only real concern about this game is, like, what is the end game? So, like I said, there's different types of walls, which will prevent you from getting to certain types of areas until you meet a certain criteria. So, I mean, it, it is gated. It's not like you just drift out into wherever and just constantly see new stuff. There is a little bit of a drive. And also, of course, the world gets more difficult as you go on, so you need better equipment to survive it. But, yeah, it's kind of hard to say, like, if there will be any sort of endgame. But it, it really is a sandbox, so make your own fun, for better or worse. But it does seem really cool. It's a really cool premise, really good execution so far, still in alpha. But uh, I think it should be available here pretty soon, relatively speaking. But yeah, this is Magpie signing off. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you guys want to see or what science you want to see conducted. And as always, take it easy.